Bardock! Kinda sounds like a Klingon name, isn't it? I'm pretty sure... wait... Mart... Yes, Martok. That's the name that it reminds me of. Anyone knows the Klingons? Anyone follows Star Trek? At least know, knows about Star Trek? Not necessarily about the new, new shows. But the old ones. That's not gonna help me much. So we probably have to whoop this, uh... Boogie guy. Might as well start with the Dryads. Dryads, Milva... Yeah, Dryads. Then Milva. We might be able to win this. Star... Star to Brack? Some kind of new show? What? Stargate SG-1 was the only sci-fi show I watched. What do you watch? How could you not love sci-fi? Seriously? Like, okay. Well, I suppose you need some mainstream sci-fi. How about Bo Battlestar Galactica? Let's try that. That's pretty mainstream. Congratulations, now you're addicted. But SG-1 was really good. I suppose you like the adventure aspect of it? Because that, that was, well, the, the adventure was was emphasized there. It was like a sci-fi adventure. I like that format uh, quite a bit. Okay, let's just pass. If the Dryad gets hit, like, I'm totally okay with that. The only good sci-fi is Spaceballs, but that's a movie. Damn, harsh words. Are you guys not a big lover of sci-fi? What do you guys like? It's not sci-fi. I do want to play this. It should be immune to, immune to a cleaver now. Does he have more bleeds? Wow. Really wanted it that. Huh. I just need for one, need for free, and shut down the drive. Hello, German Adam. Hey, Jim. Love sci-fi, just never watched Star Trek. Hmm. I just, just like the concept of visiting new worlds and uh, the mythology uh, tie-in. Yeah, it was a good show! I will, well, is that gonna be a new one? I don't think so. There were talks about it, apparently. But I kinda heard that news some time ago. I'm not sure how reliable that is. I was gonna blow that up. I can lock that. I can mess with him a little bit. But I'm more concerned about winning here. We have three good choices. Either we play Pafko for more uh, juice over time, or we panther the that, or we just kind of mess with his uh, draws a little bit. But this should give us the most points. And that's what I want. If we don't go with Pafko, we just want the most points. Yes. That's, that's exactly what I expected. That he either blows it up, but anything that's higher than a free gets played. Then we want to play the Mahakam guy. <laughs> 11 point lead. We can still play this for 8, which is decent. And we, that's what we are planning to do. We're gonna play that for 8. Wait, what? Oh, he's, he's dominating me. Sure.
こっちよついてきて。If nothing else, I'm gonna play the, the crushing trap with a mover. I got a 14 point lead here. I watched some show about dude like this. About dude and aliens stealing some kind of advanced super ship and traveling galaxy with it. There was some blue meditative girl alien, human dude, alieny looking, thieving girl, and she tree like thingy that acted as a pilot you're talking about farscape <laughs> forgot the name of the show though it was cancelled that was a fun one well every show gets cancelled eventually but yeah i know about that that's a fun show holy fuck it did the hero power Oh, he's taking this damn seriously. We're still gonna commit to the, our plan. Because that's a uh, 8 plus 8. Holy fuck, what? I guess that was a bad idea. Really? Can't believe I got punished by anti artifact. And now we are ridiculously behind. Okay. Can I win round 1? I don't want to Dana for it. So this is a, a 10, technically. Actually, we're getting some extra boosts. I'm playing some impactful cards, but... Damn. Okay, this guy knows how to play the game. But the artifact blow up action was just stupid. Come on, he gotta have like one dead card. Like literally all your cards are fucking bomb. That was kind of a costly victory, and he used his hero power for it. Like, he tried to get me in a long round. Wow. Um. Everyone, like, as this extremely vague description fits the this obscure show. Sci-fi nuts. What? What? That? That's... That's not obscure. That's... That's a well love show. What are you talking about? That was a okay description, yeah. Gianna and the pilots. That was a fun show. Would recommend it, but not as a intro into... Uh, sci-fi. If, if someone wants to get into sci-fi, I would probably recommend Battlestar Galactica as a start. That's a very easy one to, to get started with. After that, you're gonna be hopelessly hooked. And then you're just gonna be watching everything. Okay, some okay uh, top decks. And... Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe just keep everything here. This is just pretty much perfect. Move is not extremely valuable. I'll give you that. Okay, this might be even better because we can just kill a big guy. Yeah. So we start with a day now. I need to play somewhere specific. Okay, let's say we play in the back. I don't have a dwarf or 
an elf, so Saskia is pretty low value. We want to play the bear, but do we want to play some dryad before? I think that's possibly the case. Now let's just go with the anti bear. If the anti bear dies, then we can. It's a very bad idea. Poison! I'm poisoned! I don't know. I don't know. What am I? What's that? The yeah, unpoisoned line? I don't know. I have no fucking idea. Get past! Hey, John. The ending for Battlestar Galactica was rather disappointing, though. Uh, ultimately, I'm just not that into endings that much. Like, how could you really conclude a great show? Like, any any great, any great good show out there that had, like, amazing ending? In a way, like, ending is either, like... Like, okay, like, I, I'm not... Can I really think of an amazing ending? Like, when it's, like, okay, you can have some good endings, but, like, ultimately, if it's just, like, an extremely long show, you would just, like, you would rather see more of it, no? Poison! German Gwent promotes... the hell? Sodo, come on! Back to normal language on Gwent. All that matters now is The Expanse. Amazing hard sci-fi show. The ending of season 3 of The Expanse is... Awesome. Wait. Yeah, Expanse is really good. The only problem with it is just like... Come on, do they even release episodes? They should make more episodes. Battlestar Galactica levels of good? Uh, the Expanse started out a little slow. Like, what? But it got better. It wasn't bad. Well, one thing that's actually bad is the new... Uh... GRR Martin, or how is he called? The author of the Game of Thrones books uh, also wrote a sci fi, and I tried to watch it, and I watched the whole season, goddammit. And I watched the whole thing, and it was not great. At least I think so. I've seen it. It's a little big. What do you guys think about it? Anyone saw it? It was something night? Night something? Category topping streamer feels good, man. Told you guys all along. This is the best stream. You guys keep telling me that... Well, you guys read to watch Ninja and... Uh, and some Fortnite over me. Or like an auto chess or porn. Come on, get your priorities straight. I like Person of Interest a lot. The ending was pretty good as well, in my opinion. I lost interest in that. I watched it for some time, but then I lost interest. I wasn't terribly into that. I'm not incredibly into drama. Uh, well, I, I kind of like drama, but I'm not terribly into crime, usually. Okay, it's not my turn, right? Hit that! We actually missed up with some damage, but it doesn't matter. Because it's monster. What?! Look at that, he's going for the self-hug. GG. Oh, look at that! Francesca's coming out. 
Am I gonna get Ragnarok the Gam? We might want to keep one of these. I don't know if I want the Panther. We keep one. Uh, maybe not the Panther. Oh, he's running uh, Elves. Fringe was also good. My favorite show at the moment is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I would call that my my guilty pleasure that I'm just like... I don't know if I would call it my favorite show. Definitely not. It's it's not that great, but it's kind of a guilty pleasure. I, I see it and like, okay, I've seen it, but it's not that not that amazing. I, I pers I that's my opinion. It's okay. Sometimes it's better. For example, Fitz. Fitz can be pretty amazing. Sometimes the acting is good. But they don't always get uh, amazing stuff to work with. But the most important part about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for me is that, you know, it's a show that doesn't take itself too seriously. So you can just like, just, just like, uh, turn it on and, you know, you can just have some fun. How people already have the card back? Where they have the time? Um, it's not that hard to get. Well, actually, we might want to move that right away. Well, I just have one guy who generates me some value. Love that show. Which show? I'll tell you one series that had a fucking terrible ending, Lucifer. Uh, doesn't it have a, like a second season? At least it's filming, they are filming it or something like that. Wait, what? It's dead! Now the question is, do we keep pushing here? I'm not sure if we will, because I think he likes long runs too. And we're just gonna pass. Although he didn't play too much here. He might push me around too, but... Uh, in that... In that case, I'm gonna be uh, defending a little harder. Yeah, that's what I like a lot about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The writing is pretty good, it's entertaining and you can chill while watching it. Yeah. I know for a fact that, you know, I, I've watched other shows that I just find found uh, up upsetting. Uh, one that instantly came to mind is uh, Hannibal, or I think that's how it was called. It wasn't bad. But it was upsetting to watch it. So I didn't like it. It was disturbing. So I stopped watching it. Because it wasn't... Well, I'm not, not saying it needs to be a feel-good show, but... It, that, that definitely wasn't a feel-good show. Okay, we might need the, the tempo here. Okay, Ali Ran coming out. At this point, we realize that we have to fight harder. Apparently not. What is the spell he wants to replay? Is that a Ragnarok gem? I remember Alter Carbon was good. Alter Carbon was awesome! Yeah. Uh, excellent uh, suggestion right there. Alter Carbon 
perfect. It just came out of nowhere and it was it was truly amazing. I need to kick that. The broccolon water. Pretty good replacement for it. So I suppose we have a dryad, we have an elf, and we have a dwarf. So we start with Bob, and we probably should play them in different rows. I want to play something in the melee row. Okay, we play Fall in the back and get out uh, Saskia in the front. That should be good. Dystopian future? Yeah. Uh, Altered Carbon? Definitely uh, a strong recommendation. What the hell? Zero respect to... Okay, never mind that. Okay, I... <laughs> Sometimes I... Okay, never mind that. Still zero respect to Saskia. <laughs> I was just about... Okay, okay, sure. He's gonna replay it and I steal Saskia. But no. Still zero respect to Saskia. Okay. Well, I guess Saskia is gonna die. And I don't have a way to buff it. That was a good use of uh, hero power. These would have got pretty damn highs. Holy crap! He really doesn't like green women. So I got an elf, a dryad. So as as long as if I can keep these elf, one elf, dryad, and dwarf in my hand, I should do that. Uh, maybe. Uh, we hit that. Okay, now we can play it. We got a dragon, a man, and a dryad that doesn't matter. Uh, let's hit that in the back. The fuck is this? Is this Gwent? That is not the Skellige Mirror? Are we in an alternative universe? Uh, actually, I've not lost a single game with this deck yet. Which is extremely promising. It might sound a little boring. I mean, a broken. And it is pretty damn good. Okay, despite all the control, we are staying in it. No liking green vitamin? Who? So, your way of saying you didn't encounter Skellige with this deck. I encountered it! And we defeated it! They have no chance! The closest anyone came to a victory was a Nilfgaard man with all the controls in the land, but he forgot to put in any value, so he lost. Actually, this can only target known Scoyatel. But that's not the best. Does he have any non Scoyatel? So far, he only has one. But this is technically a free now. Maybe the Panther is gonna find something better to do. Our current plan is to play uh, Barnabas, uh, then the trap, and maybe Panther is gonna find someone. I've been playing Artifact Arrakis Queen, uh, ruining everyone's fun. Bring it on! Can you ruin my fun? 
Dana is pretty good, even in short rounds, if you have a leader for round 3. Yeah, exactly. Dana is What? Square tell too. Okay, what? Yeah. Guess we hit that. <clears throat> and this guy tried so hard to shut me down, but apparently it's just not good enough. It's not good enough right now. Although, the Panther is not gonna be extremely good. No! I guess now the panther is gonna get some value. Bring it on, big tree! Oh, we even played around the lacerate. Well played. You played two free engines in one play? Uh, yeah! It makes sense when the opponent can just like... Uh, shut down... Well... He can usually only shut down one at a time, but he actually shut down two. Anyway, GG.